Hello friends, this is Nilima Mishra. I work with Kentucky State University as Extension Associate for Dietetics and Human Nutrition. So I'm a nutrition person. And what am I doing here then? Actually, today I'm going to talk about importance of building immunity, making our immune system stronger, and consuming fresh produce during this COVID-19 situation. So let's move on to our slides. Across the globe, as we know, scientists and researchers are testing potential vaccines for human use to combat the current COVID-19 pandemic. As we all know that it's a virus called novel coronavirus, which is causing this pandemic. Scientists, researchers, doctors are actually trying their level best to make us walk through to protect us during this pandemic situation. But we all know that mass production and distribution of FDA approved vaccine to masses is still miles away. Unfortunately, today, no one has an answer to question when all this is going to end. What did we do, friends? We locked ourselves inside our homes for months. As far as I remember, since March, we all are working from home. Children are attending their schools from home. Our grandparents and our elderly people are staying home, not going anywhere since almost month of March. We closed our businesses, canceled travel plans. We did not meet and greet even our family and friends. We avoided all social gatherings and meetings. We did our best to fight COVID-19. Now, as the states and businesses reopen, we are following some ways to protect ourselves and others. Social distancing, wearing gloves and face masks, washing hands thoroughly and frequently, cleaning and disinfecting our homes and monitoring our health. Friends, wherever we go, we go to supermarkets, we go to attend our offices sometimes now as the businesses are reopening. We are going to restaurants even to eat food and be together with our family and friends but we are still following social distancing norms. We are trying our level best even from our side to protect us and our loved ones from going through this coronavirus infection. What else can we do to help us stay safe and keep healthy? Is there anything else which will help us to lead a healthy life? Is there something more we can do to fight this coronavirus infection? Let's go over a few things from nutrition perspective, from healthy life perspective, what we can do other than social distancing and wearing face masks to protect ourselves and our community and fight against the war against this coronavirus. One important thing I would like to highlight is strengthening our immune system. Now, what is immune system? Immune system or immunity is power of our body to stay strong and fight back infections. How our body does this? Does anyone know what is immune system? Immune system actually is consists of different cells and proteins. 
we produce white blood cells just a small physiology behind what is immune system we produce white blood cells in our body in our lymph nodes in our lymphatic system and those white blood cells are our warriors they fight with the infection they protect our body from external infections so what we can do is strengthening our immune system and that is one way to protect ourselves from severity of this pandemic our immune system is an integral part of our health and well-being several different factors such as lifestyle exercise age and nutrition play important role in strengthening our immune response we all know that we must lead a healthy lifestyle we should exercise at least 30 to 40 minutes a day at least 5 days a week age also plays major factor though corona virus as we know have not spared anyone but still elderly about the age of 65 are more prone and more vulnerable so children and pregnant ladies are also vulnerable amongst vulnerable population it is important to watch what we eat a balanced nutritious diet is one of the way to improve our immune health now what is balanced diet we know that earlier there used to be a food pyramid i learned that food pyramid during my school days it was very complicated to remember and i used to struggle a lot to remember that food pyramid which started with fruits and vegetables at the bottom and fats at the top of the triangle today we have made it much simpler to remember what is mean by nutritious diet usda have introduced the concept of my plate we are going to see my plate in couple of slide next it is very simple to understand how we should focus on eating nutritious balanced diet we should have lots of fruits and vegetables protein and balance of whole grains that is complex carbohydrates dairy and water in our everyday meal it is important to watch what we eat a balanced nutritious diet is one way to improve our immune health so what do we mean by nutritious diet again are there any specific nutrients we should look for to build stronger immunity how consuming locally grown fresh produce is helpful in building good immunity let's see when we eat fruits and vegetables whole grains meat or dairy products our body absorbs nutrients from that food body uses them in production of cells and antibodies which construct our immune system you should choose your food with nutrients that will help in improving immunity and help fighting infections now as you can see the picture shows balanced plate picture shows nutritious food as you can see half of the plate is filled with fruits and vegetables quarter of the plate is full with proteins healthy protein and quarter of the plate is filled with whole grains like whole wheat bread whole wheat pasta brown rice and all other carbohydrates which are made from carbo carbohydrate foods which are made from whole grain the fifth group is dairy we have not shown actually it's not present in this picture but dairy is important too because dairy gives us the calcium we need another thing which you can notice in this plate is water keeping ourselves hydrated is very important 
we are going to see the importance of keep, keeping ourselves hydrated in next few slides. So let's understand about vitamins and minerals our body needs for stronger immunity. Vitamin C. It has excellent antioxidant properties, helpful in protecting against infections. Now, friends, I will explain in short what is antioxidant because this word we listen many a times when we go to grocery shopping or when we are buying food or in general when we are talking about healthy food. So antioxidants are molecules which protect our body from the action of oxidative stress. Whenever our body goes through any kind of mental or physical stress, our body produces small reactive oxygen species, which are singlet oxygens. Singlet oxygens damage our cells. So our body, if our body is healthy and strong enough, if our immune system is healthy and strong enough, then our body produces antibodies to fight that infection, fight that oxidative stress. So vitamin C has excellent antioxidant properties, which is helpful in protecting against infections. It helps in white blood cell production that act as fighting mechanism in our body. Fruits and vegetables such as broccoli, red bell pepper, kale, oranges, strawberries, kiwi and variety of tangerines, lime and lemons are good sources of vitamin C. Many a times we think that all citrus fruits and vegetables have vitamin C in them. But remember friends, that even broccoli and kale are very good sources of vitamin C. Next is zinc. This is a micro mineral, micronutrient, which our body needs. This mineral plays a central role in the functioning of immune system in our body and deficiency of zinc makes us more susceptible to infections. Oyster is very rich source of zinc. But oysters is not something which we will get in our everyday food readily available. So we need to understand what else we can eat so as to avoid zinc deficiency, crabs, lobster, chicken, turkey, red meat, or fortified cereals, breads, and beans are good sources of zinc. Vitamin B6. In general, B vitamins are very important and they give us strength to run our entire systems and our body. But especially vitamin B6 is important for healthy immune system. Normal brain and nervous system development also is very important and is supported by vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 also helps in forming new red blood cells. Red blood cells are the cells which make our blood, which carry oxygen through blood to our entire body. So vitamin B6 helps us to produce those RBCs or red blood cells. What else? Foods like chickpeas, bananas, chicken and fishes like salmon, tuna are good sources of vitamin B6. Vitamin A, beta carotene in food 
is converted to vitamin A. So, we understand that our food doesn't contain vitamin A. What we get from our food is beta carotene and our body has ability to convert that into vitamin A. Vitamin A is an anti-inflammatory and helps antibodies to respond to toxins such as virus. Most yellow and orange fruits and vegetables like carrots, squash, cantaloupe, papaya, apricots, sweet potatoes, spinach, kale are good sources of this vitamin. Vitamin D, this is one of my favorite vitamins because we can get this vitamin just by standing in the sun, just soaking in the sun. One interesting fact I would like to share with you friends, that dogs are not capable of producing this vitamin through their skin. But human skin can produce vitamin, a, vitamin D just by standing in sun for 15 to 20 minutes. So let's see what vitamin D does or how vitamin D is important for us to build a stronger immune system. This vitamin is essential for regulating body's immune response. Vitamin D is also required for strong bones, joints and working of muscles. The human body can synthesize enough vitamin D from 15 minutes of sun exposure three times a week. So, now winter is approaching. I really will want all of you to just go out in the afternoons whenever you can get sun exposure. For winters, afternoon sun is very mild and very useful for getting vitamin A, uh, sorry, vitamin D. But during summer season, morning sun and sunlight just before sunset is recommended for getting vitamin D absorbed in our skin. It's that easy. But in addition to that, if we are not getting enough sun exposure, then sun-dried mushrooms, sun-dried tomatoes, eggs, dairy and fishes like salmon and tuna are good sources of vitamin D. Last but not least, I would like to say water also helps us in building a strong immune system or keeping our body healthy. It helps to eliminate toxins from our body. It is a major constituent of blood and lymph and plays an important role in transporting nutrients or white blood cells and other immune system cells in our body. It is important to drink water and keep your body well hydrated. If you don't like to drink plain water, then many fruits and vegetables like watermelon, cucumber and oranges are high in water content. You can just infuse water slices with in, infuse water with slices of fruits and vegetables to get a refreshing and flavorful water. Please keep yourself hydrated. Now, as we understand the importance of eating nutritious food, I want to say how Consuming locally grown fruits, vegetables, dairy and other produce is more beneficial to us during this corona pandemic situation. The main health benefit of locally grown food is that it's fresher. You all know, you have experienced when we buy fresh product it feels so fresh, isn't it? We feel the freshness, the fresh 
flavor, the fresh texture, when fruit, any fruit or vegetable is fresh. And how nutritionally, nutritionally it is important to eat fresh fruits and vegetables? Fruits and vegetables begin to lose their nutrients within 24 hours of being picked. So fresher produce is more nutritious. Locally grown means less farm to table time. So locally grown food lasts longer and is more nutrient dense. You get fresh in season food when buying local. You get to eat the nutritious foods which have shorter shelf life. What do you mean by shorter shelf life? We all know that many fruits and vegetables are perishable. They remain fresh for very short duration. So when we eat fruits and vegetables locally grown, there are chances that they are fresh and they are picked within 24 hours and reaching to our table, to our kitchen. So whatever fruits and vegetables which we should eat fresh, which have shorter shelf life, which are perishable, which get stale very quickly, we should focus on buying them local or buying them local, from local vendors and local farmers. Many times, locally grown food is more economical as well. This is because of less storage, preservation and transport cost to farmers and sellers. These are nutritional benefits, but we should also support our society, support our farmers by buying local. So apart from these health benefits, especially during this COVID-19 situation, it is important to support our local farms. Buying local food keeps local farms healthy and creates local jobs at farms. It also helps boosting local economy. Food dollars spent at local farms stay in local economy, creating more jobs at other local businesses. So role of our farmers and producers is very important in this pandemic. Locally grown, less processed food is important to build healthy immune system. This will help us to prevent and fight infections and lead a healthy life. To summarize, all of us should remember importance of building immunity, being healthy and staying strong in fighting this war against virus. We also know that how we can achieve this with the help of locally grown fresh produce. Thank you so much for listening. And if you have any questions, please email me your questions at Nilima Mishra at kysu.edu and I will be happy to answer those questions for you. Thank you, friends.